For chapter 18 on mental health, I wanted to touch on some key combining forms and word roots that were really at the heart of the subject matter. And learning these combining forms and word roots are going to be key to being able to create medical terms associated with mental health. And so the first term or the first root is deluse or deluso to deceive. If somebody is delusional, they may be deceiving themselves, but they may be deceiving others around them as well. Hallucin or hallucino, imagination. If somebody is experiencing hallucinations, they may have a tremendous imagination for what they have going on inside their head and reflecting it to the outside world. Hom means man. Homicide might be to kill a man. Okay, like we have here, side means to kill. So a homicide would be to kill a man. San means sound or health. Insanity, for example, would be an absence of a sound mind or good mental health. Psycho, we've already talked about that. Psych means soul or mind. Analysis process to define, like psychoanalysis, a type of psychological therapy in which the patient ultimately is going to speak with the therapist who is called a psychoanalyst, one who defines. Pyro, P-Y-R slash O. Pyro means fire. Okay, somebody who has pyromania down here at the bottom we see the term mania means frenzy. So pyromania would be somebody who gets worked up into a frenzy by setting fires. Schizo or schizo, split or cleave. Schizophrenia, a potentially splitting of the mind. And we would call this a split personality disorder or multiple personality disorder. Tangent means touch. Somebody who is going on a tangent may lose touch with reality, for example. If you go off on whatever you know issue of the day that gets you really excited, you may go off and lose touch with what you originally set out to discuss. Pole means pole. And typically we think of this with bipolar disorder. Bipolar disorder is going to be somebody who has manic episodes where they are going through periods of intense uh, euphoria and energy and positive outlook and then depressive points in which they have no ambition to do anything. Depress means to press down like depression. Depression is going to be the process of pressing down. Electro Electricity, like electrotherapy or electroconvulsive therapy, where electrodes are actually attached to the cranium and electrical energy is discharged into the brain to try and aid a person with psychological issues. Vulse means to tear or pull. Somebody who goes into convulsions would violently tear and pull at themselves. Four means to carry or bear. Okay, euphoria. Euphoria would mean to care, to carry out or bear uh, uh, a psychological well-being. Mania, as we already said, is frenzy. Man would be basically short for manic or mania, I should say, affected by frenzy. Depress. Whoops, we get that twice. Means to press down. Phobia, Greek for fear. Agoraphobia, for example, would be a fear of going outside. Agora literally means marketplace, but it means to be having a fear of being trapped outside. Anxiety is Greek, and it means distress. Somebody who has an anxiety disorder has a great amount of stress associated with this disorder. Cognitive, Latin for knowledge. Okay, cognitive capabilities, the ability of somebody to pick up information and then in turn use that information. Somebody who maybe has 
uh, a mental disability may have a lack of cognitive skills. They may have a lack of knowledge. They may not be able to take in information, process it, and in turn use it. Behave means mental activity, a behavioral disorder. Therapy, a medical treatment. Psychotherapy, for example, would be medical treatment for the mind. Cease is going forward. Okay. Mod means method. Traumat means wound, like somebody who has post-traumatic stress disorder. That would be a case where a wound, in this case a mental wound, leads to a mental issue that can't be overcome unless they go through treatment. And then pharmac or pharmaco means drugs. And in some cases, a disorder caused by trauma, which leaves a wound, might have to have a pharmacologic uh, form of therapy used. Okay, so these are some of the common word roots and combining forms associated with mental health. And so hopefully we will be able to continue getting into the medical terminology, anatomy and physiology of the nervous system and the brain, as well as diseases associated with mental health that are the pathophysiologic component of this course. And we'll be able to use these terms and the associated prefixes and suffixes to create the terms you would commonly see when abstracting information from patient charts.